morning, friends. It's always a tall order to replace Dr. Sadhana Parashar in any meeting. And uh, you come to know at the last minute. You come to know at the last minute. You only come to know when she's not there. And uh, it becomes very difficult for you to understand that we are trying to do things what she's asking us to tell you. So when this uh, papers came up to us and we were asked to talk about the things happening and more specifically the road ahead, so it was a lot of debate of me what I should be talking about. So we talk about what CBSC is working 24 by 7. And all the teachers, principals, administrators, and coordinators sitting here, I may use some wrong words, may be slightly harassed at the way the way we work. So you get very annoyed when the circulars come all of a sudden, and you realize this has to be done by today itself. And it's a very tall order that you have to deliver. But just understand with us and bear with us, we are in the same boat. If we are asking you to deliver by today, we've been asked to deliver. When we go to our bosses and we ask them, Acha sir, ye kab tak karna hai? They look up and tell us, this should have been delivered yesterday. So you are still lucky that we didn't tell you that the last date was yesterday. The date is still ahead for you. For us, it's always the other way around. They tell us, very, it should have been completed yesterday. But I was not told. That's not important. It was supposed to be done yesterday. So that's how we work. And especially the ones who have been getting a little upset about the stress of the expression series. CBSE has been working 24 by 7 in different shifts People have been staying in the building overnight. At times, it looked like a railway station, people coming and going out. There have been people staying 24 hours on the uh, building also. So that is how the work is happening. So you are just a part of the stress. You do not know what the whole thing is coming up, because we all want to do things. That's why we all are here. So talking about CBC, I am very sure that what I'm going to begin about, you all know that we are catering to around 15,000 schools in India and abroad. The schools that we cater to are government schools, Navodhyalais, Kendra Vidyalais, and private schools. But what we're focusing on here in this meeting are the private schools. And uh, we get them when they enter eighth standard. So that is the time they get associated to us, they get affiliated to us. And from there, we begin a hand-holding program with them. So all of the people sitting here are knowing about the Sahodhyas. So the Sahodhyas, the mentoring, the orientation, begins and year after year like in the past three years also what i've been seeing it is becoming more and more caring more and more nourishing because we see the effort going into handling those people who've just joined in the schools have so many things to ask very basic things to ask but they need all that mentoring there so we have appointed mentors in all the sahodhyas in all the regions we've got now not eight but ten regional offices and all that work is going on a very collaborated way when we talk about the infrastructure, the quality that we're looking up at, in the private schools, certain areas we may still have to uh, you know, build up our standards. But as you are more aware of the schools coming in now, they are way far ahead. They are more or less the center of art schools, where you can see the beautiful classrooms, we, we were not heard of, maybe 10 years back, we heard about the air-cooled, uh, possible the first school came up as an air-cooled system, but now air-cooled air conditioners, temperature controls, these are very, very normal things, going along with the global change and understanding the demand and need of the city, and the demand of the parents, and even the industrialists who have entered this uh, school line, they are catering to all that. So it's a very good thing which is happening, the infrastructure, if you see, we see schools not only having swimming pools, but temperature controlled swimming pools. We have been seeing schools having just playgrounds. Now we see schools having uh, your basketball, wooden platform, indoor uh, uh, places we have also seen. So what we ourselves go to see now, we have also taken aback as to what we're getting to see. So the infrastructure which is coming up there is way, way, way ahead. Of course, certain schools, we have to pull them up, but in the private schools, it's not much of a problem as per what the quality of infrastructure that we're seeing. And uh, I have seen schools where the staff room was the last room to be air-conditioned. They felt the teachers needed that in the end. But I have also seen schools where the staff room was the first to be air-conditioned. So I've seen on both levels, you know, how things have grown up that way. That's the attitude of the management. I've seen them making the AC room first the staff room than anything else. So all that is happening. 
you all are aware about sahodyas and the amount of good work sahodyas are doing in the country and abroad and uh, when we i heard the first session here people are talking about competition which is at times not good so we talk more about not much competition but it's more about collaboration more about participation when we're going to schools and platforms and encouraging inter school events we are now talking more of participation see of what you can gain out of the event rather than who's coming first and second so we are pleading to the principals and teachers to develop that policy that you have fun and participating learn share rather than understand who's coming first or second so let's try to uh, avoid the competition front from there in all the quality areas how we are checking as per the activities that is happening there at cbsc even the entire expression series what we have seen i'm one of the person there who's evaluating the results at the last stage so what we began with pingli venakya series and what we did recently just now that is the 19th results are declared yesterday so we were just doing the evaluation of that we've seen a drastic improvement upward in the quality of the work that children are writing because they were perhaps not given that much of exposure so that exposure which is coming up like what i feel best about expression series is that the quality of the students writing has improved drastically so whether it has come through the leaders the forgotten leaders or the unsung heroes or whichever category but we will try to look only at the positive things happening there as to what change it has made an impact of the schools and we have also seen unheard of schools taking part and coming up on that event so we do have motivation programs for there and i'm sure most of the schools sitting here must have received the cash awards of taking participation in the expression series and it will be difficult for me to tell the amount of money which has been spent in promoting these events now we are also aware again about when we are trying about promotion of academic subjects quality wise you see all the competitions that are taking place at cbsc where there's a science exhibition it begins from a city two region to coming up to the state round and we have also seen the quality going up haywire in that really really coming up well the projects which come up there whether it's coming through ignite ignite is a platform where you share your breast practices coming up for the inter school events mathematics olympiad a lot of criticism came about the psa but things have settled down now i'm sure the people must have been quite happy with the psa papers which were just happened last week and uh, we do trouble you all by giving all things a little late because we have to keep on updating ourselves if supposing we had to update the open book test assessment questions two months back when they were ready they would have not been updated with the swachh bharat and the mom so we have to wait also to understand what are the current things happening and we have to upgrade them because that is what open book test assessment is all about you are supposed to be reading a newspaper and trying to find out the academic portion from it so that's what we were trying to do that is why it gets delayed but of course it comes well in time we promise you all to give it to you all before one month before your exams so we have done it three months before in fact but yes we have delayed it by 2 3 months to update things which are more relevant to you all the green olympiad the national education day the heritage quiz which is the 14th year happening now everything is gaining momentum and everything is also showing the quality consciousness of the schools and of the board and the vision and the collaborated work that is happening from everywhere we ask you all to put your best foot forward so we see the senbosec where you share the things with us we put it on a magazine and share it with the whole country we have got more or less all the things online now whether it is evaluation of a textbook that we have written whether it's evaluation of a workshop that we have conducted for everything you have to give us online feedback and online feedback is only for this purpose that we update ourselves and amend ourselves change ourselves adapt to whatever is happening there you all have been part of the values education you have all been part of the life skills you have all been going to be part for the upcoming work education programs upcoming road safety manuals the songs that we have made in road safety the songs that we made in values all that is on the rise of increasing the quality of pedagogies because that is the most important thing if you can give the best of the infrastructure but you are not giving good pedagogies there is no point of the infrastructure the children may stay will may as well stay in five star hotels and don't come to schools but what you have to ultimately deliver is the pedagogies so in the pedagogy series i would like to show you another one thing that we are i'm showing a five minute presentation maybe one or two principles you have seen it but i would take a feedback of from you immediately after what i've shown to you 
next one. In this module, we'll talk about sets. Out of all these objects on the screen, we can see some of them are similar to each other. Let's group them accordingly. Well, these groups are called sets. Now these men wearing black and these men wearing white are very different from each other, hence form different sets, which are well-defined. So we can say that sets are well-defined collections of objects. A very good example of sets would be online shopping websites, which have many categories depending on the product they are selling. These categories make it easier for us to find the sets. Some of them even have an index, so we can see all the sets together in one place. Another example would be these smartphones, which are different brands. Let's talk about well-defined. We can see that there are people wearing casual clothes and people wearing formal clothes. But we cannot say which of these are good and which of these are bad. And because goodness is a virtue. Now there are many kinds of sets such as finite and infinite. Infinite sets are sets which are virtually uncountable or numbers that are too large for us to process. For example, all the natural numbers or the human population that has ever existed on Earth. An easier example would be all the stars that are present in the universe. This is a very large number, hence comes in infinite sets. Finite sets, however, are sets that are limited. They have a fixed number of elements or objects, such as all the even numbers under 10, or these barrels, or bubbles of the English alphabet, of which there are only five, a finite number. Tall sets are comprised of objects that do not exist, or are just empty sets. Objects like mythological creatures, or music CDs from the prehistoric times, because they don't exist. There are two ways to represent sets on paper, the raster form and the set builder form. The raster form, we simply take the element of the set and put curl brackets around it. In the set builder form, however, we write the defining properties of the set, followed by brackets. Here's what we have learned so far. In this module, we'll learn more about sets. Equal sets. In these two sets, we can see that the elements are same. Hence, they are equal sets. Another example would be these two sets of balls, which are exactly the same. Equivalent sets, however, are sets with different elements but the same number of elements. In these two teams, we can see that the players are different, but their number is the same. Hence, they are equivalent sets. Subsets are sets within sets. In this group of musical instruments, if we were to take one instrument and make a set out of it, that would be a subset. For instance, the set of guitars is a subset within the bigger set. Let's look at an example. Set A and Set B. Set A contains the elements of Set B. Hence, we can say that Set A is a subset of Set B. We denote subsets by using this symbol. What if we were to calculate all the possible subsets of Set A? Well, null sets are always a subset of every set, followed by the individual elements followed by the combinations of various elements and the set itself. A simple way to calculate all the possible subsets is 2n, where n is the number of elements in the set. Power sets are sets of all the subsets of a given set. If we were to represent this set's power set, we would first write p representing a power set, followed by the name of the set and all the subsets of the set.
universal sets are sets that contain all the sets being talked about. They are usually infinite sets. To understand this better, let's look at an example. Here are a bunch of people wearing casual, sports and formal clothes. They make their own unique sets but fall under a larger set of all clothing styles, which is a universal set. Here's what we have learned so far. Collaborated work, creative work, where a school created something which we shared with a lot of other schools and a lot of material came from schools but the chairman liked this sort of series and we realized that teachers were not good at making that. It was the student, the resources which we have not tapped so far, they were the ones making it and unfortunately they were the non-mathematics students who made it. So it was one maths teacher with three non-math students presenting this type of work. It's made by students, everything is done by the students including the audio. Now, that has been put forward and those students have been asked to make 11 more modules and from 11 we are now reaching target of 100. So we're trying to cover the whole of mathematics of class 11th and 12th under this game. So this is what platform we open to you. This is sharing and comments, criticism, everything is more than uh, welcome in that. At the time of 2012 or 13, we have begun the series of accreditation with us and we will take some time where all the schools will be coming up on the same platform of quality and even our training programs now are done through the impaneled agencies, so we have a control over them and we are able to check and take your feedback to improvise things. So at the end of the session, any questions, most welcome. Thank you.